Amnish Agarwal, who is the head of research at Prabhudas Leeladhar, joins in now. Amnish, a big, big move on ITC is what we are seeing after a lot of underperformance. Do you view this uh, sale of BAT as an important supply overhang gone and maybe the outperformance of ITC begins from here on? Is that your view? Yeah, absolutely. <clears throat> Mandalam, if you see the past couple of months, ever since there was news that BAT is likely to reduce the stake, the stock, I think it peaked around, you can say, when the hotel, your demerger got announced and got consummated. And uh, gradually, post BAT, I think the sharp, there was sharp fall in the stock price to around, say, 400 levels or so. Fundamentally, nothing changes in ITC. It has been a professionally run company from at least three decades, which I, which I can recall. And operational side, there is no change. That is one. On the uh, on the other hand, I think ITC in it, on the business front continues to look good. And with this major overhang now over, I think the stock uh, stock has the potential to you can say move up, because if you look at the price band of uh, 385 400, which was being talked about at 400, the stock is trading at just around say 14 times. If I just look at the cigarette business and uh, you can say make adjustment or SOTP which is more or less in line with where most of the other global tobacco majors are trading at, whereas India today is a much better market in terms of growth and output. Hmm. Hmm. So, um, what do you do from here on in terms of an upside? See, because it's already showcasing a 9% up move, right? I understand that valuations are looking attractive, etc. But um, now that the supply overhang is out of the way, just help us understand, A, on a valuation perspective, post this 9% up move, what are your thoughts? And what is the fundamental upside that you're looking at business-wise? Okay, you see, if you look at, say, business-wise, we have seen the perhaps the best growth in cigarette business in the last couple of years. Hmm. Now, on a steady-state basis, one can look at, say, maybe 3 to 5% volume growth and maybe high single-digit kind of a profit growth from cigarette business. The key driver for ITC is going to be first FMCG business where they have seen a very steady increase in both sales as well as margins over the year. And I still believe that over the next few years, we will see further improvement in profitability in the FMCG business. Because if I look at, say, SOTP, FMCG business today is roughly around, say, 22% of our uh, target price. The second one, which today is relatively smaller but has a lot of potential, is IT services. Because IT services today might be, say, roughly around 2 to 3% of their overall SOTP. But over the next five to 10 years, I think uh, IT services, given the kind of growth which Indian companies have from other big conglomerates, along with FMCG, it could be the major growth driver. Now, coming to, I would say, the uh, stock price looking after the recent up move, you see, we are valuing this stock at around, say, 490 is our target price, which is based on, you can say, uh, December 23, and whereby we are valuing the cigarette business on 22 times. So I think even if you presume the worst of the perform, uh, you can say even if you presume a little bit lower multiple than even than 450, 460 is the price. So over the next one year, I think given this overhang now being over, and if we see, you can say 3 to 5% kind of a cigarette volume growth, the stock has got the potential to even give, say, another 10, 12% return from here over the next six months. Right, another 10, 12%, uh, despite this up move that you're seeing over the next six months on ITC, your fundamental target price close to around 490 rupees, which is pretty much in line with all the others as well, which is closer to anywhere between 468 all the way up to 510 in the brokerage uh, target price ranges itself. But what's also interesting is, you know, over the last few quarters, uh, Godfrey Phillips' volume growth has been a lot higher than ITC and VST Industries. Even in the last quarter, for instance, ITC's volumes were down around 1% of the cigarette business. Godfrey showed a growth of around 10.6%. Brokerages do believe that, you know, the performance that they've shown in uh, some of their newer brands has led them to gain some market share. And that's reflected in the kind of stock price move that we've seen as well. This year so far, Godfrey is up almost 70%. Uh, Amnish, uh, would you look at uh, other tobacco players as well or stick with ITC? Okay, you see, uh, as far as Godfrey is concerned, God, Godfrey's market share is significantly lower. And so there exists a lot of scope to increase the market share and the grow, grow the volumes. But having said that, ITC one needs to look at more as a conglomerate because today cigarettes are only 57% of value. Mm -hmm. so if you are looking at a company which is a conglomerate, which has got presence in cigarettes with strong market leadership, 
with around say 80 percent market share 77 to 80 percent uh i would say the fastest growing perhaps the fmcg company among the companies which have been set up say at least in the last two decades or so and you can say leadership in your paper and paper boards thriving agri business and you can say your uh, then it services where they are slowly getting into act in the last two three years in particular i think itc is a much broader play in comparison to godfrey but in you can say the companies like godfrey which are you can say single product centric companies in single product categories predominantly so there the growth rates can usually be higher because your market share is also on the lower side but having said that both the companies actually we can't uh, it's very difficult mm. for me to compare because itc is a large cap well owned stock whereas the other ones are more like ideas all right, Amish, thanks a lot for joining in. By the way, it's going to be a big one today, right? ITC up almost about 9 odd percent. The supply overhang out of the way. Valuations attractive. Three brokerages have upgraded the stock this morning. So it looks like the going is going to be good. Well,